The First Anglo-Maratha War was the first of three Anglo-Maratha Wars fought between the British East India Company and Maratha Empire in India. The war began with the Treaty of Surat and ended with the Treaty of Topic: Background <inaudible> 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 After the death of Madhav Rao Peshwa in 1772, his brother Narayan Rao became Peshwa of the Maratha Empire. Narayan Rao, the 10th of August 1755 to the 30th of August 1773, was the fifth Peshwa or ruler of the Maratha Empire from November 1772 until his murder by his palace guards in August 1773. Narayan Rao's widow Gangabai gave birth to a posthumous son, who was legal heir to the throne. The newborn infant was named Sawai Madhavrao Sawai means one and a quarter. Twelve Maratha chiefs, led by Nana Fadnavis directed an effort to name the infant as the new Peshwa and rule under him as regents. Ragunathrao, unwilling to give up his position of power, sought help from the British at Bombay and signed the Treaty of Surat on 6 March 1775. According to the treaty, Ragunathrao ceded the territories of Salset and Basane to the British, along with part of the revenues from Surat and Baruch districts. In return, the British promised to provide Ragunathrao with 2,500 soldiers. The British Calcutta Council condemned the Treaty of Surat, sending Colonel Upton to Pune to annul it and make a new treaty with the Regency. The Treaty of Parandar the 1st of March 1776 annulled that of Surat. Ragunathrao was pensioned and his cause abandoned, but the revenues of Salset and Broach districts were retained by the British. The Bombay government rejected this new treaty and gave refuge to Ragunathrao. In 1777, Nana Fadnavis violated his treaty with the Calcutta Council by granting the French a port on west coast. The English retaliated by sending a force towards Pune. Initial stage and Treaty of Parandar British troops under the command of Colonel Keating, left Surat on March 15, 1775 for Pune. But they were checked by Harapant Fadke at Addis and were totally defeated on May 18, 1775. Casualties for Keating's force, accompanied by Ragunathrao, included 96 killed. The Marathas' casualties in the Battle of Addis Gujarat included 150 killed. Warren Hastings estimated that direct actions against Pune would be detrimental. Therefore, the Supreme Council of Bengal condemned the Treaty of Surat, sending Colonel Upton to Pune to annul it and make a new treaty with the Regency. An agreement between Upton and the ministers of Pune called Treaty of Parandar was signed on March 1, 1776. The Treaty of Parandar the 1st of March 1776 annulled that of Surat. Raghunath Rao was pensioned and his cause abandoned, but the revenues of Salset and Broach districts were retained by the British. <laughs> Wadgaon Following a treaty between France and the Pune government in 1776, the Bombay government decided to invade and reinstate Rigoba. They sent a force under call. Egerton reached Kapoli and made its way through the western Ghats at Bhor Ghat and onwards toward Karla, which was reached on 4 January 1779 while under Maratha attacks. Finally the British were forced to retreat back to Wadgaon, but were soon surrounded. The British were forced to sign the Treaty of Wadgaon on 16 January 1779, a victory for the Marathas. Reinforcements from northern India, commanded by Colonel later General Thomas Wyndham Goddard, arrived too late to save the Bombay force. The British Governor-General in Bengal, Warren Hastings, rejected the treaty on the grounds that the Bombay officials had no legal power to sign it, and ordered Goddard to secure British interests in the area. Goddard with 6,000 troops stormed Badra Fort and captured Ahmedabad on February 15, 1779. There was a garrison of 6,000 Arab and Sindhi infantry and 2,000 horses. Losses in the fight totaled 108, including two British. Goddard also captured Basane on December 11, 1780. Another Bengal detachment led by Captain Popham captured Gwalior and assisted by the Rana of Gohad, captured Gwalior on August 4, 1780, before Mahaji Sindhya could make preparations. 
Skirmishes took place between Mahaji Sindhya and General Goddard in Gujarat, but indecisively. Hastings sent yet another force to harass Mahaji Shind, commanded by Major Kamak. Central India and the Deccan After capturing Basane, Goddard marched towards Pune. But he was routed at Borghat, Parsharamba in April 1781 by Harapant Fadke and Tukoji Holkar. In central India, Mahaji stationed himself at Malwa to challenge Kamak. Initially, Mahaji had an upper hand and British forces under Kamak, being harassed and reduced, had to retreat to Hadar. In February 1781 the British beat Shin to the town of Sipri, but every move they made after that was shadowed by his much larger army, and their supplies were cut off, until they made a desperate night raid in late March, capturing not only supplies, but even guns and elephants. Thereafter, the military threat from Shin's forces to the British was much reduced. The contest was equally balanced now. Where Mahaji scored a significant victory over Kamak at Syringe, the latter avenged the loss through the Battle of Durda on March 24, 1781. Colonel Muir arrived with fresh forces in April, 1781 to assist Popham and Kamak. After his defeat at Sipri, Mahaji Shin got alarmed. Finally, he decisively crushed the forces of Muir on July 1, 1781. Mahaji seemed to be too powerful to be defeated now. Treaty of Salbai This treaty, known as the Treaty of Salbai, was signed on 17 May 1782, and was ratified by Hastings in June 1782 and by Nana Fadnavis in February 1783. The treaty ended the First Anglo-Maratha War. Salbai is located 32 kilometers 20 miles southeast to Gwalior City in Gwalior District, MP. In popular culture The 2013 Hollywood film titled The Lovers is based on the backdrop of this war. See also Maratha Empire Second Anglo-Maratha War Third Anglo-Maratha War List of Maratha dynasties and states James Hartley Indian officer Topic Notes Topic Further reading Beck Sanderson India and Southeast Asia to 1800 2006 Marathas and the English Company 1701 to 1818 online Retrieved October 1st 2004 Gordon, Stewart. Marathas, Marauders, and State Formation in Eighteenth-Century India Oxford University Press, 1994. Gordon, Stewart. The Marathas, in New Cambridge History of India, 2.4, Cambridge U Press, 1993. Session, Radhika. The Maratha State, Some Preliminary Considerations, Indian Historical Review 41.1 35-46. Online. External links Athail, Anil. Anil Athail on Joff's Invaders. Retrieved July 21, 2011. Hamid, Shahul. The First Anglo-Maratha War Retrieved October 1, 2004. Indian History, British Period. Retrieved October 1, 2004. Paranjpay, Amit et al. History of Maharashtra. Retrieved October 1, 2004.